Octinium is a radioactive chemical element with symbol AC, not to be confused with the abbreviation for an acetyl group, and atomic number 89, which was discovered in 1899. It was the first non-primordial radioactive element to be isolated. Polonium, radium and radon were observed before actinium, but they were not isolated until 1902. Octinium gave the name to the actinite series, a group of 15 similar elements between actinium and lauritium in the periodic table. A soft, silvery white radioactive metal, octinium reacts rapidly with oxygen and moisture in air forming a white coating of actinium oxide that prevents further oxidation. As with most lanthanides and many actinides, Octinium assumes oxidation state plus 3 in nearly all its chemical compounds. Octinium is found only in traces in uranium and thorium ores as the isotope 227 AC, which decays with a half life of 21.772 years, predominantly emitting beta and sometimes alpha particles, and 228 AC which is beta active with a half-life of 6.15 hours. One ton of natural uranium in ore contains about 0.2 mg of actinium-227, and one ton of natural thorium contains about 5 nanograms of actinium-228. The close similarity of physical and chemical properties of actinium and lanthanum makes separation of actinium from the ore impractical. Instead, the element is prepared, in milligram amounts, by the neutron irradiation of 226 Ra in a nuclear reactor. Owing to its scarcity, high price and radioactivity, actinium has no significant industrial use. Its current applications include a neutron source and an agent for radiation therapy targeting cancer cells in the body. History André Louis de Bierne, a French chemist, announced the discovery of a new element in 1899. He separated it from pitch blend residues left by Marie and Pierre Curie after they had extracted radium. In 1899, De Beeren described the substance as similar to titanium and, in 1900, as similar to thorium. Friedrich Oskar Giesel independently discovered actinium in 1902 as a substance being similar to lanthanum and called it amanium in 1904. After a comparison of the substance's half lives determined by De Beeren, Harriet Brooks in 1904, and Otto Hahn and Otto Sacker in 1905, de Beeren's chosen name for the new element was retained because it had seniority. Articles published in the 1970s and later suggest that de Beeren's results published in 1904 conflict with those reported in 1899 and 1900. This has led some authors to advocate that Giesel alone should be credited with the discovery. A less confrontational vision of scientific discovery is proposed by Loff. He suggests that hindsight criticism of the early publications should be mitigated by the then nascent state of radiochemistry, highlighting the prudence of de Beeren's claims in the original papers. He notes that nobody can contend that de Beeren's substance did not contain actinium. De Beeren who is now considered by the vast majority of historians as the discoverer, lost interest in the element and left the topic. Giesel, on the other hand, can rightfully be credited with the first preparation of radiochemically pure actinium and with the identification of its atomic number 89. The name actinium originates from the ancient Greek actus, actinos, meaning be more ray. Its symbol AC is also used in abbreviations of other compounds that have nothing to do with actinium, such as acetyl, acetate and sometimes acetaldehyde.